Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my PC how-to videos and in this video I'm going to show you how you can reset the BIOS on any PC. Uh, you may want to do this if you've made some changes or installed some hardware and your computer isn't booting back up. Basically you can't access the BIOS from the screen when you press the key as normal. So what we need to do first is turn the PC off and then I'll probably need to remove this graphics card because looking at it it's right underneath there. So I'll come back to you in a second. Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the how to reset the BIOS video. Um, so I've unplugged the PC and I've also drained the power by pressing the power button on top just to get all the power out of the system. And as you can see from the first part, I've had to take out the graphics card as well. The reason why I've done that is because this motherboard is a smaller version. The CMOS batteries here and the uh, head is here as well. So how do you reset the BIOS? There's two ways of doing this. There's the easy way and then the slightly more difficult way. The easiest way is to short the pins on this header here. Mine's called Clear CMOS on this Gigabyte motherboard. Your, yours might be called JBAT. Get a close-up of that. Um, basically refer to your motherboard manual. If you're unsure which one it is, it'll definitely tell you in there. Or you can alternatively press this little metal bit here with a uh, plastic implement or a flat head screwdriver. Be really careful not to break it. The battery will pop out. You can put, put it back in and that will also reset it. That's also useful if you're losing the time on a computer or if you're restarting it and it's losing settings each time. So what we need to do is, generally speaking, you wouldn't take the battery out. There's no point. What we need to do is we need to short these pins. So I don't want to reset my bias, but I'll just show you. You literally hold a metallic implement, such as the screwdriver, but preferably something small like this, on it for a few seconds. It will res reset the BIOS, and you can put the computer back together. When you power it back on, it may take a couple of times just to start back up while it recognises the settings. After that, you can then go back into your BIOS settings on the usual screen. Um, obviously, you'll have to set everything back up. So hopefully that video is helpful to you. Um, thanks for watching.